base model Cobalt and you'd like to spend some of your spare time out gapping Corvettes, Eventually, your shifter cables are going to wear out and just straight up fly apart. Behind me is my home built 2006 base model Cobalt. No, it's not an SS. Sorry, boys. It's a base model. She's a turd. And right now, I've broken shift cables, so I have to get that fixed. This box has been sitting in my house for a couple months and it's too late to return it. Let's go ahead and make sure the right parts came in. They say you have to pop these to save the sea turtles. Um, I actually ordered the OEM stuff. Hey, look at me. Let's take a look at these cables and see if they offer any clues. These ends here, I know from working on it before, they just snap on and off. A lot of times they go on a lot easier than they come off. These snap into the bracket like that. I've seen some people have trouble with them. They get jammed up with dirt and stuff and don't want to pull back. So we'll see how that goes. Comes with a new grommet, new heat shield, new bracket. First, let's pop the old goat barn and see what we got. Sakes. Oh, look at that poor dusty girl. So neglected. Ooh, what's that? Is that a flex fuel sensor? The shifter cables are down in there. This uh, this fuse box is not hard to get out of there. So we will pop the ECU out, pop that out of there, get access to it, spend less time with bloody knuckles and cussing. Before you go messing around with the fuse box, now I've installed a quick disconnect on my battery terminal. Chances are your car won't have that. So you have to get out of wrench and do it the old fashioned way. Here's pretty easy here. Make sure that clips all the way forward. Now I got a couple extra hoses and wires and stuff because of this cold air intake here. Pop this cover off, send her all the way. This is your main terminal, this is hot. That's why we disconnect the battery because this thing will take this off and then we go bing, 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 bing. Now these little bolts here don't actually hold down the fuse box. They actually thread into electrical connectors underneath. For this power steering plug here, you just push in on this connector here and uh, and uh, there. got little snaps. You got a snap here, here. Got one back here, I think. One up on this corner. See here, that's the top of your electrical box. Just got a bunch of pins and those. Right into your connectors down there. Now these electrical connectors basically just sit in this plastic housing here. Before we remove those, we need to get this plastic housing loose. And it shares a bolt here with the uh, coolant tank reservoir. And two bolts down there. If you have the F23 or the base model, you want this in neutral. If you have the F35 or the SS, sorry if you have the SS and you think you're cool, but base model is live. F35, fourth gear. Pop these shifter cables loose from the transmission. I recommend a small pry bar. You just kinda go, oh my God, oh, and then she comes. She is loose. The little clips I showed you can be reached through here. I do have this lovely fiberglass heat wrap to lean up against, so at least you don't have that probably. The little collar slides back. Like that. Once you have it unlocked, then it slides out of the bracket. We should have pretty much everything disconnected from the car side. As we know, we have one bracket left. I have under car rails on my car, so you likely won't be able to jack up your car like this. You'll have to jack it up like a pleb, put your jack underneath the subframe up there, and then find a place for the jack stand, and hopefully it doesn't slip off and kill you. That's your problem. My bracket's no longer attached to anything. I guess I don't have to worry about it. I know the shifter boot has to come off, and I've got a small pick here. Probably do this with a thin screwdriver as well. Oh, f I broke it. Don't do that. There's little snaps up front here. And there's some clips on the back. Looks like this cup holder kind of comes out. Gotta push in like that, maybe. Probably two snaps on this back side. There we go. Snaps, snaps. That comes out pretty easy. Soft. Oh, for freak snacks. Let's just go ahead and. That's where my grommet is. I was hoping it'd be a little more. A little more accessible there. This just pushes in here, disconnected. Now before we disconnect these cables from the shifter here, I'd recommend going in there, putting a witness mark up as close to that as you can on both cables. Be careful with these clips because you don't get new ones with your cables here. You can kind of... There we go. Okay. Put that there. Go ahead and do this one on this side. There we go. Push this cable back in. One cable's completely loose. Push the cable back in. There we go. See the cable's right there. What wire is that? Make sure they're not caught on any wires. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that uh, insulation a little bit more so we can get that grommet out of there. I think I got the 
bracket through. To pull this through the firewall here. You're gonna get them through with the two connectors that are side by side. It's way too fast. Push it while you pull the other one. Get them off set. Get that as tight as possible because it barely wants to fit through there. Ginger carefully. You can see here exactly why my shifter cable needed replaced. This part came out, this little support part, and then I was just dealing with this cable, just kind of, you can see it got bent there. So it was all loose, it would still push it, but it was all loosey goosey. That boot's not supposed to come loose. That's the important support structure there. I was hoping I could advance one of the cables, but we're just gonna have to kind of go like that, I guess. Fish this back through there. God, what a cluster f Oh, I think I'm through. See the little cables poking through down there? Pull up your heat insulation, pulling forward to the end of the cable there. Little bracket here should be the last thing you really have to fight through there. Let's put the white one in first since it's on the bottom. Snap that on the ball. Is that snapped in? I should have worn long sleeves. Freaking grommet in there. Yep, she's all the way on there. Okay. Measure those and transfer them onto the new cables. I should have done that while they were outside. It would have been easier, but way she goes. You want your shifter to end up centered because you're in neutral. Now it's probably not necessary, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray some dry PTFE on the exposed areas of the shaft there just to help her shift with the butter. One thing you wanna make sure with your clutch in, make sure she does go into all the gears. And before we put those covers back on, we'll go out for a test drive, make sure all the gears row through nice and easy. That way we don't have to pop the covers back off in case that cable needs adjustment. First test, burnout for distance. <laughs> 